What is up, all you beautiful beer geeks out there? Welcome back to another episode of the Tour of Beers, the beer day tour, that is. We are continuing the search for the perfect Thanksgiving beer, and today I have a very heavyweight contender. Now, this one has eluded me for quite some time. I've been trying to look for it everywhere, all the store shelves, everywhere locally here, I couldn't find it. Now, we'll warn you, this one is a little bit different, okay? This is a collab between a lot of different local breweries here in the Yakima Valley, so I, I'm gonna give it high praise. I think that this one is gonna be just what I'm looking for for Thanksgiving. Like I said, it's a rare, it's a uh, limited edition, and it's a collaboration, so it should be pretty awesome. I can't wait, let's get right into it. Let's do this. All right, beer friends, so you know I like to bring you guys the exclusive, the rare, the limited edition, and this one is no different from our good friends over at Bell Breaker. Uh, they brought this out in collaboration with um, a couple of little breweries you might know of, or might not know of, but you should. Uh, so here we have a Single Hill Brewing, Varietal Beer Company, Kawachi, Kawichi Creek Brewing Company and Wandering Hop Brewing. So if you're from around the Yakima Valley or from Yakima, you know those well. They're awesome breweries. Can't recommend them enough. And if you're from outside of Washington and you don't know about these breweries, well, you should find out. Do some research. There's some amazing breweries. I'm always going to all these different ones, so I know they're good. Trust me, they're really good. So uh, they got together alongside Bell Breaker and they collaborated to make this bad boy right here. This is Friendsgiving. It's a hazy IPA. Uh, it does have an ABV or alcohol by a volume of 7.1%. And the IBU score on this bad boy is a 45. See when he's out here. All right, so this is, like I said, a limited edition. It's very hard to get. It, if it was hard to get for me and I live here in the Yakima Valley, it might be hard for you. So if you see this around, I would very much encourage you to go out and get it as soon as possible. If you're from outside of Washington, it might be a little hard, but not to worry. Um, hopefully they do more of these in the future because I think it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to look forward to. I know I did when I first heard about it and I couldn't wait to grab one. Um, like I said, it was a little bit hard for me. I actually had to go to Bell Breaker just to get my hands on this. So like I said, I'm looking forward to this one. It is a hazy IPA, which is uh, my personal favorite. Now, 7.1 is a little bit on the strong side, but that's okay. Uh, maybe they were looking forward to a little bit of kick with this one for Thanksgiving, so that's a good thing. And then the um, IBU score, which mentions the bitterness of the beer, is at a 45, so it is gonna be a little bit bitter and a little bit of alcoholic aftertaste, but that's okay. Hopefully, uh, this one will be one of my top contenders for my, um, what I'm looking for is the perfect Thanksgiving beer this month, so maybe this is one of the top contenders maybe we'll have to break into this bad boy and find out. So I want to see what it looks like first. And then I want to give it that taste test. And then I'm going to give it my recommendation. So either thumbs up if I would recommend this to family and friends or thumbs down if not so much. Let's find out. All right. So I got my little glass here from uh, Sunnyside Summer Ale Fest. I really like this one. I feel like it brings out the aromatics, the aroma uh, from really good IPA, so we're gonna try it out with this one here. Friendsgiving, a hazy IPA uh, from Bell Breaker with a couple of Yakima Brewery friends. Now this is intended to be a Thanksgiving beer, so hopefully um, it can live up to the hype. Let's find out. So uh, this does have, let's see here, a flavor profile of mango, pineapple, peach, nectarine, and lychee on a gravy smooth palate. Huh, that's gonna be interesting. Let's find out. Let's pour this bad boy open. All right, let's read up a little bit more about this one here. Uh, with equal parts Citra, HBC 586, and HBC 630, for all my beer nerds out there, making up the very generous dry hop, this beer is a cornucopia of tropical and stone fruit flavors. All right. Well, this special holiday offering has a prominent notes of mango, pineapple, peach, nectarine, and lychee. Lychee? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I have no idea what that is, guys. Uh, on a gravy smooth palate, made with our friends for you to drink with yours. This holiday season, we're extra thankful for our brewing buddies. Like I said, all these cool local breweries collaborated to make this one, so it should be really cool. One thing that I didn't know to you before, but I thought um, I should mention is the design here. Awesome design. It's like a uh, Lego, Lego man, Lego friend family there, uh, which is really cool. I get it. I get the whole theme of it. Ooh, okay, so very, very distinct smell of hops as soon as I pop this bad boy open. Again, we have collaborators like Single Hill, Varietal, Kawichi 
Queechee Creek uh, Wandering Hop. All right, let's probably sit bad boy out here. Enough talk. All right, there we go. Let's get some, get some of that. Get some of that carbonation out of there. Ooh, nice thick foam head. It's always a good sign. Mmm, very arom aromatic. I get it, I get it, I get the aromatic the aroma. Very distinctive hop aroma right away, so I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit bitter. Or a lot bitter, rather. Okay. Mmm, look at that. Murky, cloudy, definitely a hazy. Ooh. Awesome color. Uh, bubbles dissipating very, very quickly. A nice carbonation throughout. Let's give this one a shot. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Woo, that's good. That is good. It's really good. Um, I like it. Now, I do get that aftertaste, that little acidic, alcoholic aftertaste to it, which that's what I was thinking, but it's not too bad. Now, it's not a juicy IPA. But it is very tropical. It's the stone fruit flavors are there. It's more of a melon, almost like a bitterness type of citrus, like a peel type of citrus, a pungent type of citrus, but not really a juicy or tropical like pineapple or mango flavors that I'm getting across. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like it's more of a really, really good bitter type of beginning, bitter, that hoppy taste that you're used to from Bell Breaker. If you had their IPAs in the past before, like Top Cutter, Bottom Cutter, Field 41, all their uh, their beers, or a lot of their beers, have that really nice hit, a bitter, a uh, hoppy taste to them, which is what I like from Bell Breaker. So this one is no different, but you get that nice overtone, overall type of taste, mouthfeel of citrus, which is really good. That's what you want in a hazy IPA. This one is no different. Like I said, it's not really the, it, the thing is, it's not really juicy in like a pineapple or a mango or an orange type of uh, feel. It's more of a bitter with a nice sort of overtone of tropical, right? So that's what I like about it. And that's why as soon as I started tasting it at the very end of it, I got that nice acidic taste, which I really, really like. So this one, I like it. I'm going to give it that thumbs up. I would recommend this to family and friends because I think they'll find something that they'll like. Now, it's, some of them might be deterred by that nice bitterness taste, but if you're like me, I enjoy the bitterness. I enjoy biting into a hop. Well, not really, but you know, a lot of these IPAs, that's the sensation that you get, and that's what I like. So if you like that, you're gonna love this one, trust me. But either way, it's in tropical enough and it has a nice little juicy palate in there uh, to enjoy for the normal person, the non-beer connoisseur, the person that you might be next to at a Thanksgiving. I would say if you can find this around, or at Bell Breaker, grab it immediately because it's really good. And like I said, it's going to give that thumbs up from me. Highly recommend it to family and friends. Check it out. All right, guys. So what did we learn today? Well, the usual that uh, all these Yakima breweries can brew up some really badass brewskis. Uh, this one is no different. Hazy IPA. This one's called Friendsgiving. Uh, look for it at Bell Breaker or any of the other breweries. Like I said, Single Hill, Varido, Kawichi Creek, Wandering Hop. Look for it because it's really good. Pick up a four pack to take to your Friendsgiving or family Thanksgiving dinner. Highly recommended for me. Now, is this the perfect Thanksgiving beer that I've been looking for? I'm um, not going to release that just yet. Uh, so you're going to have to stay tuned to next week's episode, which is going to be the conclusion of me looking for the perfect IPA for Thanksgiving. Now, I have i don't want to give it up just yet, but I've had a couple of other uh, top contenders. Go look at those videos so you guys know what I'm talking about. But this next Wednesday, when I release the final episode, I'm going to let you guys know which one I think was the perfect Thanksgiving beer. And I'll give you all my reasons, of course. And I might bring out another beer to review. Who knows? Who knows? Either way, if you haven't already and you love beer content or just love beer reviews or reviews or you just love entertainment, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. I bring everything beer related to this channel on the Beardy Tour channel. You want to hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time a new video drops, of course. And if you're familiar with Bell Breaker or any of the rest of the breweries and you've tried beer, uh, one of their beers before, not even just this one, but any of their beers from Bell Breaker, Varietal, or Single Hill, any of the beers, let me know how they were in the comment section down below. As always, if you like the content, give it a like. Of course, I will see you guys next week for a Thanksgiving Day special episode. I'll be there. Make sure you guys are there as well. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys. I'll enjoy this one now. Mm-hmm.